Evening, every tour alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Thomas and Mack Center, just off the Vegas Strip, for a much-anticipated main event. Twelve rounds, middleweight action. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. He's making his way to the ring now, and he looks very focused for this fight. His ring walk is one of those ring walks where you realize how attentive this fighter is. This is a guy who has his eye on the prize and nothing will distract him. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch blow. This is a 12-rounder. Here's round number one. Able to dismiss it. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Come on, get focused. Up top with the quick hook. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Blocks that punch. 90 seconds to go here in this round. And he just holds on there. Teddy, early on here, you cannot stress enough how much good comes from going to the body. And you can't stress how many times you heard your parents tell you as a kid, put that change into the piggy bank because it's going to add up. Well, body punches add up. Able to cover up that gut. Blocks away that headshot, and he engages in the clinch. Jump up. Nice. Good step back counter punch there. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy, and so many times it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body, and he figures that he's going to try to move on him, so... Start doing it early on, and later on, he's going to have a guy in front of him. Last 10 seconds. Get after him! 
you can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. Okay. You know that he had a good I round. That's straight right. Throw it again. Here we go. Round two is underway. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Don't let him get to you, kid. How about that left hand? Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Crashes home with a hook. That right hand over the top lands flush. One, two, one, two. And just grabbing on to his opponent. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Halfway through round number two. Way to block there. Parries that punch away. Hey, 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 let's go! Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Stay away from those, come on! Punch right there, the uppercut works. Oh, what a hook upstairs! Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't. He's chomping at the bid. He's confident. Number three is underway. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Keep going. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Come on, give both of them. Active body.
takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Back to the body. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Now look at him, he does not look good on the back end of that hook coming home. Good job protecting himself. job of protecting himself he's keeping his guard up very very well Teddy does it help to have the speed that he has uh, sure anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing it has to be technically right but now you put speed you're doing it even better you're doing it at a higher level and round three comes to an end Keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. Yeah, we'll Let's we'll keep him up. Listen, he's gonna come yeah. forward this round, all right? Keep that jab moving. Keep him away from you, all right? Keep circling. Don't stand in front of him. You gotta fight. You gotta throw more. You got any more of these? I'll do the one in. Hold it. Three rounds completed here as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time. His punches are right now lacking that snap. I mean, we're early in this fight, but you can see that he's worn down just from his work rate. Yeah, and you know what he's seeing? He's seeing a guy with a cement chin, an iron chin, and I'm wondering if he's not starting to get a little bit discouraged. just wasting away some time with that clinch. A headshot blocked. Nice work, nice work. Good snapping jab. That's what you need to get inside. Hey, Joe, if you're going to rob a bank, you need a smoke screen so the guards don't see you coming. You want to get inside? Use a jab. Halfway through round number four. Placed hook to the head. Nice. Big right hand. Up, Teddy, he may go down just by stumbling the way he's bumbling around this ring. Well, he's got to stop moving. Actually, you never want to fight on the ropes. This is one time he probably needs to be on the ropes just to steady him and then move his head a little bit. That might be his only shot. Block. Let's see some more head movement. Uh. 
Good job staying away from the danger there. Comes with the right. Blocks that punch. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body. Because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the metal of a person is when you test him, when you push him up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's showing what he's made of. So he took a go of it to the body but came up empty. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counterpunching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. the floor you got him. stunned but all of a sudden now surviving <laughs> and he ties up on the inside keep doing what you're doing <laughs> Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Little head knocking with that right hand. Was just off the mark. That's it. Got some of that too. Let's go. Gets rid of that effort. I like this kind of defense, Teddy. I like this kind of guy that just says, go ahead. Think you can try to hit me up top. You can't. Great movement. A very good movement. Very good vision. He sees everything. To do this, you have to be very calm. He's very calm. He's very in control. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Back to the body. Not able to land the headshot. Final ten seconds of this fifth round. We come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that and say, okay, I'm going to give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down blue or red corner what he did early. Because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late. Then throw a straight... Action starts up again, but it's only favored one man. Hard to see this fight going to distance based on what we've witnessed so far. Oh. Doing great. Yeah. Good 
good looking counter punch. Able to dismiss that body shot. Here's something that's a key factor now, and that is his ability to simply defend himself. He's doing a wonderful job. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Solid left. Halfway through round six, and he's holding. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Good return fire that time. Keeping him honest with the double jab up top. up really well that time and it protects his head. Come on, kid. Here's one for you now, he says, right back with the left hand. Distance such a key factor always, Teddy, when it comes to defense. With his good foot movement, he's been keeping that distance. His opponent, how does he close that gap properly? Well, first of all, he's got to use his jab to close it because he's getting picked off coming in. He's getting pot shotted. So he's got to have something coming at his opponent that keeps him distracted. Use that jab. Now, don't use it conventionally, Joe. You jab it at the head, you're not finding nothing. You're just finding space. So jab a little lower. Drop the sights a little bit. Jab at his chest. Just so you touch something, and then you can work your way in. You can start to find them a little. This round is in the books, and it looks like the gas tank on this fighter may be heading towards empty here. What is this, a case of guys just not putting in the road work and the conditioning prior to a fight? No, you got to figure he came in. His weight was good. Scales don't lie. We looked at the weight. He came in pretty good condition. I think what it is is now he's starting to get broken down a little bit. Physically and mentally, the other guy is starting to impose himself on him. Get in and throw the uppercut and hook, right? That's what they're there for. Body. It has been completely one-sided so far tonight, and he's in control as we start this round. So here he is again, missing more punches. Now, I like a guy that throws punches, Teddy, but at some point, you got to do more than that. Yeah, I tell you right now, if he was a carpenter, I would not have him coming in doing my oh, kitchen cabinets one. because he'd be just... Okay. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. <laughs> Solid. He turned over that hook and turned his man right down to the floor. <sighs> from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Side to side. Nice, nice. One, two jabs. Yeah. Right. Shot. 
at the halfway point of round seven. And a power shot lands, and all of a sudden it turns the tables. A little slow with that jab, and he got caught the right hand. What a great round this has turned into. After doing the hurting, now he's the one hurt. Yo, this is about wit, grit, and spin. This is about fighting. Teddy, when you've been in the corner in your career and you have a charge who is not making a lot of contact, what do you tell him? The first thing I tell him, Joe, is shorten up your punches a little bit. The other thing I tell him is he's making you miss, so you know what? Faint him a little bit. Get a false move out of him. Get a premature move. And when he moves, then time him. Now you're going to catch him. Now he ties up there. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Calm down now. Calm down. Just breathe. Breathe. I need another round from you. I need you to be busy this round, all right? He caught you with your hands down. Let's box smart and not get caught. Box smart. Okay, listen. I need you to throw three punches. Combinations. Okay. Well, this is just a good, solid fight. Yes, he's leading on your scorecard here as we begin round number eight, but there has been some back and forth, some give and take. His opponent has found some kinks in the armor, namely that right hand over the jab. Teddy, you get in a spot like this, and everybody has their eyes on the fighter who was just knocked down in the last round. What do you look for? What tells you right away that you know what his status is? Well, it's two things. The easiest one is the legs, Joe. I want to see if they're steady, if they're firm, if he's okay. But the next thing is his personality, believe it or not. It's kind of like when you go out to a bar with someone, they have a few drinks, and all of a sudden they're a different person. You know they're drunk. Well, I want to see whether or not my fight is drunk. If he starts rushing at the guy, starts acting in a way that he's never acted before, I know it's time to pull the plug. Looking good. Shake it off. Just off the mark with that punch. Teddy, what advice do you give in a situation like this when you have a fighter who's clearly been hurt, who's just looking to hold on and buy himself some time? Well, it's more than just advice. You know, I, I admonish him a little bit. I tell him, hey, listen, I don't want no excuses that he's tying you up. It takes two to tangle. You don't have to get tied up if you don't let him. Don't let him. Take a little step back and create room and let those hands go. Ten 
10 seconds to go in this round. So he takes a breather between rounds after he just put forth more of the same punishment. Teddy, we've been sitting here all night long as he lands these thudding blows. You can just hear the damage landing. Yeah, and I can feel them. Some fluids that I don't really want are coming onto my shirt. Okay, now we work, all right? We need to start throwing punches in bunches. Let's go to work now. Let's show them what you got. Nice round. That was good. Keep that up. We have this one. They are back to action here, but that action has only favored one man. Completely one-sided. Hard to see the scorecards coming into play here with how dominating he's been. Protecting his head well with his guard. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Shots with his defense up top. Halfway through the ninth round. I don't like this at all, Teddy. I mean, it's one thing to stand toe to toe, it's another thing to never even move. You gotta show some movement. Maybe he's breaking down. Maybe he's already spit the bit. You know, if he falls down, everybody in the world's gonna know that he let himself fall down, he gave up. But there's different ways, different phases of giving in. And this might be one of those phases. Now hugging on the inside. Well, this can become a bore, and he's making a decision to do it as he ties up again. Good looking counter punch. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. And this round comes to an end. You sit ringside long enough and you get a sense at what the scorecards are going to look like. I mean, sometimes they throw you off a little bit. But we know who should be ahead on the scorecards in this fight. Yeah, and he does too, and his opponent does too, and you see it in his body language. He's starting to get a little discouraged a little bit. And of course, you see also that the guy winning right now, he's starting to behave like a guy that's winning. He's staying outside a little more, using those feet a little bit more, almost going into that kind of prevent defense you see in football. Another round underway, but how many more will we see? You get the sense this fight could be heading towards a stoppage. Great movement to get away from those punches. Gets rid of that body shot.
can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Mike he focus. takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Great counterpunch, and I loved how he moved off to the side and then landed it. Able to show you his blocking ability. towards the end of the 10th round, 10 seconds to go. Back to the body. And we come to the end of the round. Just keep it simple. You're making this harder than it has to be. Yeah, we'll get him, we'll get him. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. There you go. Listen, I want you to pick his jabs. He throws a jab, parry it away, and you'll catch it. Okay? Well, he's well ahead on your scorecard, Teddy. Here we are in round number 11. At this point, hey, just make it happen. Just get through. Don't let him land that one lucky punch. Yeah, exactly. He's been sitting at the blackjack table all night long <laughs> over on, there in Vegas. Him. And all he has to do right now is control his bets. You know, don't go crazy. Pull back on your bets a little bit. Keep that money in your pocket. Locks it away. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. That was off the mark. Head movement, head movement. Keep it going. He missed with that headshot. Keep working the butt. 90 seconds to go in this 11th round. Back to the body. Blocks that punch. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Showing you some defense there with the block. <laughs> 
Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Parries that punch intended for the head. Good exchange, he fires back. Well-placed shot, came after a nice defensive move there. Good block. Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Okay, we got this one. Last round, and it's yours, okay? Keep your distance, keep your hands up. Okay? Behind on points, the only way to win this one is by knockout. Keep those hands moving. Land the big one. Listen to me. The best defense is to throw punches. Final chapter in this 12 round book. Tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Oh, you need to block more. Halfway through this 12th and final round. of this last round. <laughs> wow, is he defensively sound. <laughs> Off the mark there. Good block. Keep working the and they will bring it home in the last 10 seconds of this final round. He just missed that shot up top. From start to finish, it was utter domination. This was an easy one to score, Joe. As for that expected outcome, we send it up to the ring to hear from the judges. Seemed like he was destined to win throughout the fight. Teddy, your scorecard showed that, and the judges agree, unanimous decision. Yeah, he was destined to win because he kept using that jab all night long and outworking his opponent. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Always enjoy you tuning in. We'll see you next time at the fights.